polisi yesade raided esera country hotel in Nigeria esite sababu in Kampala and detained a group of suspected gay activists. I am an LGBTI person, so my community is the LGBTI community. Me, I'm on business. I'm Kenyan. I'm a business person. They were arrested together with a Canadian national and another whose identity could not be established. The group of 20 are understood to have come from Kenya, Tanzania and Uganda. Police say the suspects were released on bond, but the investigations are going on. Verifying their documents and trying to reconcile and see if what they were doing was legal or illegal. We want to relate it to the laws that are there and see if these people committed any offense. If they did commit any offense, there is no problem. We thought that there was an offense being committed under Section 145 and 146 of the Penal Code Act. We got there, we recovered documents. Now we are processing the documents like police does every day to see if any offense was committed. Ethics and Integrity Minister Reverend Father Simon Rokodo is insisting that the government of Uganda won't relent on its clampdown on suspected gay groups. They are now at large, but we are following them to make sure that all is done to bring them to book and they receive the deserved verdict. And everybody else will know that at least in Uganda, we have no room yet for homosexuals and lesbians. Reverend Father Simon Lokodo is also warning that Uganda will not be deterred by U.S. President Barack Obama's threats to abandon the controversial anti-homosexuality bill against sexual minority groups. He says Ugandans rather die of poverty than subjecting them to an illegal and immoral behavior. We had better die poor than lose our dignity as Ugandans. If they don't like to give us their money and attach it to our adherence to their immoral behavior, we had better renounce that money and remain as we have. At least let him learn from me today that I borrowed Shakespeare's statement. I had better laugh when my dog is barking at a crow on a tree than enjoy a statement by a fellow man saying, I love you. Never. Ndora East Member Parliament David Bahati, the move of the anti-homosexuality bill currently before Parliament, says all is said to have the bill discussed in Parliament when the new session of Parliament begins next week. The current, the current legal regime in the Penal Code Act is so weak. That's why we brought in the bill to strengthen it. And we have been assured by Honorable Tashobia that he's going to work on this bill this coming session. The bill is currently before the League and the Parliamentary Affairs Committee, and if it's passed in its current form, homosexuals and lesbians could be liable to life imprisonment. Jingo Francis, NTV.